Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, David the Beer Dad, back again to do another beer review. Oh, a bit bloated. I'm going to do the final beer review of tonight, I think. And I'm going to do a day of beer, and it's Daya's Summer Ale. This weighs in a 4.5% ABV, as it says so right there. Um, we've got a countdown of the 29th of May 20. Uh, the best before the 29th of the of November 20. It says so right there. Nice can art. Somebody getting a bit of a suntan on the beach. With the sun feet up, sunshine out. Are, are they? What type of flowers are they, people? Come on, let me know. Um, This is 2020. This is, this is 2020 version of oh, delicious, easy drinking. Um, Antipathy and summer ale, a a um, a simple malt base, like peachy yeast, like peachy yeast, yeast esters, a tropical fruit forward fix secret, and galaxy hop create a bright fresh, the go to summer pale. But yeah, please keep it. Yeah, this can be refrigerated. Um, blah blah blah. The usual caper. That's what it says there. So, love a bit of a day. This one I got last. Uh, Till on Wednesday. Or was it last Friday? Is it Friday? Not Friday. Not yesterday. The day before. If the Friday before. Till the Wednesday this week. Anyway. Brr, there it is. Pop it up. Let's see what we've got going on. Pour the rest in shortly. So, beer in a glass. What have we got? We've got ourselves a hazy. Yellow gold beer looks rather good. We've got two fingers of again, Daz White head, density compact bubbles. It's got a little bit of a sort of cappuccino wobble across the top of it. Looks great. Not going to do well on the bowls. Let's get stuck into the old nose so we can smell. Peaches, apricot, stone fruit, sweetness, tropical fruit. Ripe mango, maybe a bit of a bit of bready malt. It smells beautiful. It does smell really, really good. I hope this is another. Hope it's another banger from Daya. Let's go for the budget combination. Light, very light. A, a nice light body. Combination, short, sharp, quite light. Zesty bubbles, bang, 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 bang. There you go. Push the flavour around your mouth really nicely. Let's go for the big old taste. There's a dryness to this beer from start to finish. The dryness, as soon as you put it into your mouth, the dryness starts and it carries on. And on top of that dryness, you've got waves of flavour. You, you have a little bit of peachy sweetness. There's a little bit of grapefruit peel, a little bit of orange peel. There's zest, there's pith, there's all that kind of caper. All of the, kind of like a citrusy note. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. You then hit this... Light grapefruit texture um, taste as that fades, you're left with this dry backbone. It's very nice. As pale ale, if this is a pale ale, it just says it's sort of summer ale. But in the back, they say the back, it's a pale ale. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Peachy, you see. I just said the summer pale. I tell you what, it's very tasty. Yeah, I like, it's, it's, it's bitter and dry. It's got a dry finish. I like dry finish on beers. And this is this has got a nice dry finish to it. Yeah, it probably overrides. In fact, it does override all the majority of the flavours. You still get the, the, the fruity, tropical fruits, the grapefruit peel, 
but then it, it, it just the dryness just sort of just blank the blanket them out. It's nice. Is it great? Because they do great beers. No. They do some good stuff. And every now and again, some of their stuff just kind of is not where it should be. And this is one of these ones that's not where it should be. It's very good. It's very good. Do not get me wrong. It's very good. It's, it's very, very good. It's not a banger, as some people would say. But still, 4.5%, let's be fair. This is, it, as, as, if this is a pale ale, it's a very good pale ale. And it's probably one of the better pale ales. That's a really good example of pale ales. Summer ale, yeah, it's very good. It's, it is good. But it's 4.5. So if it's all held back and suggestive and subtle. Except for that dryness. And that dryness is what makes it... I'm going to contradict myself now. That dryness is what makes this good as a 4.5% beer. Yes. Is it a banger? Now it comes to now I'm, I'm getting into it. it. No, it's not quite a banger, but it's nearly there. As a 4.5% beer goes, it's great. So I retract everything I've said before. And it's a great beer. A 4.5, it's a really good. 4.5% beer. Banger? No. Great. 4.5? Yes. I hope that makes sense. The bitter's lovely. The fruit, the, 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 the flavour's a little bit held back. That last mouthful there was, it was quite watery. But still, it's very enjoyable. I'm going to wrap this up. Day is summer ale. Quite simply, do I like it? Yeah, because I've realised, because halfway through the review, I realised this is only a 4.5% beer. You're, you're, you're drinking it here, Dave. Have a word with yourself. So, yes, I do. Would I buy it if I sort it out again? Yes, I would. Because I think this is one of the better sessionable ales you're going to find out and about. No. Excuse me. Would I recommend to friends? Yes, definitely. Uh, excuse me. Do apologise. If you've had this beer, excuse me, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments, the comments box below. I do like it, like I say, and I do think, as I say, it's one of the, one of the better sessionable, pale ales, uh, sessionable, sessionable ales you're going to find, I think. I was just looking at it as a, from, a, from another, another point of view. Um, there you go. So if you had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. Do you like the video? Do you if you don't? Subscribe down there. Link to the day website. The usual caper. This is going to the recycle. Here we go.